a graduate from TCU from their great class of 2013. Um, before we jump into my talk, I have an activity for us called Hands Up. All right, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna say hands up, and you're gonna put both your hands up in the air, and then you're gonna wait for the instructions. Got it? Awesome. Okay, so everybody, hands up. Now I want you to take those hands, and I want you to wave the person on the other side of you. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Glad you're here. Okay, awesome. Now, hands up. Now I want you to take those hands, and I want you to high five the person on the other side of you. I'm pumped to be here. I'm pumped to be here. Awesome. Now, hands up. Now I want you to take those hands, and I want you to put them on the tops of the heads of the person on the other side of you. Okay, hands back down. So what did you just do right there? Besides potentially embarrassing yourself, if you're sitting next to someone you don't know, you're welcome. You just stepped outside of your comfort zone. You did something new. You strayed from the path on which you would normally walk. And you did something different than you probably expected to do when you walked in here today. And that is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about just how important it is to step outside your comfort zone during such an important time in your life at college. I'm going to talk about exactly how you can do that at a place like TCU and how that can help you grow in countless ways. So first, college. Why is this such an important time to step out of your comfort zone? College is a time marked by a significant amount of transition. You know, it's the first time that you're away from home, away from your parents, have a lot of new responsibilities for the very first time. It's also the last big step you have before you bottle up all of your knowledge and go out and take on the real world. The real world. So being such a transitional time, college is a time marked by a significant amount of volatility. But being so volatile, there's a great opportunity for growth in college. And the way in which you capitalize on that is by stepping outside of your comfort zone. So how exactly do you do that while you're in college at a place like TCU? The first way to step outside of your comfort zone in college is by meeting new people. A place like TCU is somewhere where literally thousands of people from all over the world come together not only to learn, but to live. And each person that does come to this campus brings their own unique beliefs and perspectives to make TCU really, really special. The value of meeting new people is something that Clay York, who a horn frog was a friend to so, so many, certainly showed us the value of. And there's really easy ways to do that by sitting next to someone new in Market Square at lunch or joining a bunch of different student organizations from all across campus. And every time you do that, you'll be able to interact with new people and really understand the beliefs and perspectives that they bring to this campus. Meeting new people is a great way to learn things outside the classroom at TCU, but learning things inside the classroom at TCU is, is incredibly important as well. And college is a place where at the exact same time, people are learning about ranch management, about ballet, and about everything in between. So there's so many unique learning opportunities here. So when you're in college, I would absolutely recommend for you to take some random class in some subject you know absolutely nothing about. It may be you know, really tempting to not take a class in something that doesn't directly apply to your intended career path. But I would argue by taking some random class in some random subject, you'll do nothing but gain some unique perspective on the world. And then when you are applying for jobs, you'll be able to bring something unique, unique to the table, which could prove to be really valuable. Um, another way to be able to learn new things while you're in college is by going new places. A lot of you probably came from different places, right, to TCU or college, but a place like TCU is somewhere that facilitates students to explore so many new places as well. I'm quickly realizing now that I have to, you know, work and pay bills and things like that after graduation, it's really tough to be able to explore another country for a few weeks or for a few months and pick up right back where I left off. So I would absolutely encourage you to study abroad while you're in college. Again, college is the only time in your life where you, you can have an opportunity like this. And by studying abroad, not only will you have the chance to visit a new country, you'll have the chance to interact with different people and see the ways in which they live, they work, they communicate, they eat, they dance, and everything else, and really immerse yourself in a culture completely different from so while you've had these experiences as, as an undergraduate student, when you approach graduation, the next way to step outside of your comfort zone is to not be in a hurry to start your career. We live in a society where we're encouraged to do things bigger, better, faster, to make X salaries, to make Y dollars, and retire in Z years. But I would argue that you have your entire life to start your career. There are a lot of really cool one to two year opportunities that are perfect for, for students right after graduation when you don't have a lot of financial commitments or family commitments or anything like that. And there's actually really uh, a few really cool examples of students who took advantage of that, even from my graduating class, the class of 2013. Darcy Nicholson is a great example of someone who's 
currently participating in the World Race, which is an 11 month mission trip where she's got to visit 11 countries in 11 months and experience 11 different cultures from all around the world. Darcy was a strategic communication major here on campus, and she's obviously not going to get a ton of experience in the advertising world, but she's able to go to so many cool places and dig deep into some things she was really passionate about. Taylor Joyce is another great example who is actually a primary man in college, and he is currently serving as a Fulbright Scholar in South Korea, where he has not only had the chance to teach the English language to South Korean elementary school students for an entire year, but he's had the chance to explore other Southeast Asian countries with other Fulbright Scholars from all across the United States. Now you don't have to go outside of the country to have experiences like this, where Abby Baxter is currently serving as a traveling leadership consultant for Zeta Tau Alpha for sorority. Through this position, Abby gets to travel to different college campuses around the country and work with different student leaders on, this, on those campuses. She's gone to a ton of really cool places and got to do something she really, really enjoys, which is working with college students. So there you have it, four ways in which you can step outside your comfort zone at a time like college at a place like TCU. So what exactly does this do for you? Let's look at it internally and externally. Internally, stepping outside of your comfort zone helps you be exposed to so many different beliefs from so many different sources. As you're doing this, you may take some of these beliefs and plug them into your own belief systems, or you may completely reject others. But as you're going through this process, you're gonna to continue to reflect on who you are and what you believe, which is an incredibly important thing to evaluate, especially at a time like this. Externally, stepping outside of your comfort zone helps you appreciate the beautiful diversity around you. A place like TCU is one that has such amazing diversity that really makes it the special place that it is. When I speak of diversity, though, I'm not speaking of gender diversity or racial diversity or ethnic diversity or anything like that, but rather the diversity of ideas and the diversity of perspectives. So as you're doing these things and as you're interacting with these different people, people you're really able to see what makes them unique and what makes TCU, uh, what makes this place special. So as you do all of these things, you'll really be able to capitalize on such an important time in the life of college. Because as we know, college is a time to transform. It's a time to grow, and above all, it's a time to change. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kyle. Great talk. So our viewers would like to know exactly what is it that made you so passionate about stepping outside of your comfort zone? Yeah, so uh, having gotten involved in college you know, in a ton of different ways and then now being on the other side of the desk, uh, I've really been able to appreciate the value of students really challenging themselves when they're in college. Um, there's some ways in which I did that as a TC student and some ways in which I didn't do it enough. So I really stress that uh, you know, for everybody as they come to TCU and they want Perfect, great. Sounds like a great mindset. You guys agree? Yeah.